Hello friends, my name is Dr. Vinay Singh. I am running for assembly in Assembly District 10. My vision is to make California great again and I need your support to transform my vision into reality. To support my vision to make California great again, you may please visit my website at drsingforassembly.com. You can go there and comment, contribute and support. I really want to hear from you. Today I am going to discuss why crime and homelessness are out of control. So basically what we see in California and other states, crime is increasing and homelessness also increasing and our governments are not able to control. They have gone out of control and we have to work together to make sure that we can control the homelessness and we can control the crime and here I can provide you the root cause, the basic problem which needs to be taken care to control the crime and homelessness. So if you see here I have a dotted uh, block, in dotted block I have included two issues, one is failed education system and other is high inflation. These two issues are basically they are playing the catalytic role to make crime and homelessness out of control and we can discuss here how they are making this. So in failed education system what happens uh, there we will get more and more dropouts and after some times dropouts will be out of control and if dropouts of out of control so that will create bad citizens and also pull off unemployed people or unemployed youths. So what bad citizens will do actually bad citizens will land into mental illness and also they will land into high risk behavior. High risk behavior are such as they become alcoholic, they will become antisocial element, they will be drug addicted and early pregnancy etc. And what about unemployed pool of unemployed people? The pool of unemployed people, some, some of the people will land into mental illness and high risk behavior. And finally, what will happen? Mental illness people, high risk behavior and unemployment uh, people, unemployed people, they will basically, if you see here, they will land into crime and homelessness. So this is for the failed education system, that branch. We went there and explained how failed education system creates crime and homelessness. And here, the another issue high inflation basically if there is high inflation so uh, affordability of food gas utilities and other stuff will go down people cannot afford it and there will be a bad economy and finally what will happen that bad economy will result into the uh, uh, group of or a pool of unemployed people. So high inflation will basically create a pool of unemployed people and again unemployed people from there some people will land into mental illness or high risk behavior. And basically mental illness, high risk behavior and, and the pool of unemployed people will basically become part of the crime and homelessness. So what we can say that here uh, there are two equations, one is dropouts are directly proportional to crime and homelessness. What, what is meaning of this? Meaning of this is that if dropouts will increase, crime and homelessness will increase. So if dropouts are out of control, then crime and homelessness are out of control. And second equation is inflation is also directly proportional to crime and homelessness. That means if inflation is out of control, so crime and homelessness will be out of control. So basically why crime and homelessness are out of control? So this is because dropouts are 
are out of control and inflation is out of control. Our government is not able to develop a system where we can reduce the drop, dropouts or where we can reduce the inflation so that the impact of dropouts and inflation basically which are resulting into crime and homelessness which can be reduced. So government has to play a great role but they don't know how to do that. They don't know how to fix the failed education system. They don't know how to fix the high inflation and that is the problem. Uh, we are not able to control the crime and homelessness. So here you see um, basically uh, I will describe little bit here how you can fix the failed education system and uh, inflation, high inflation. But if you want to learn in more detail how to fix the failed education system, you can uh, visit my YouTube channel Dr. Vinay Singh PhD. I have uploaded a video there. Uh, here is my plan to fix the failed education system that is the name of the video that is episode 16. You, you can go there and watch my video. I have uh, explained how the failed education system can be fixed. And also if you want to see in detail how uh, high inflation can be fixed. So there is another video I have uploaded on my YouTube channel Dr. Vinay Singh PhD. That video is solution for high inflation episode number 8 and you can watch and you can learn how you can fix the high inflation. But here uh, in brief I will describe uh, what we should do to make sure that crime and homelessness is not out of control or you can say crime and homelessness are not out of control. So to fix the failed education system what we have to do is we have to control the dropouts we have to minimize the dropouts then only we can say that education system is fixed there are no dropouts so no in unemployment no bad citizen everything is on track but how to reduce or how to uh, basically control the dropouts so to control the dropouts we have to have two things to be done one is we have to give individual best education. Individual best education means we have to take care of each and every student individually, not in group, but individually we have to monitor the growth of every child. And the second part of the controlling of dropouts is that we have to provide morality best education so that our children become the best citizen of the world. So, so let, let us see first uh, how we can give the individual best education. So for that we have to develop a student management system based on artificial intelligence and computer system. We have to develop a student management system and on that student management system there will be on top of this there will be three layers of another application we can say another applications those layers will be dropouts management system at academically poor student management system and the third one is parents management system. So dropouts management system what it will do it will provide the information about all the dropouts uh, we can have here I can discuss this can be a K-12 management system but college management system also is college student management system also we can develop but uh, uh, initially we can develop K-12 student management system. So we can monitor the in the uh, first, la first layer of the system which is sitting on the student management system that is the dropout management system. It will provide the information about the dropouts and based on that information we have to train them and employ so that they can become the part of the workforce and once they become part of workforce and they will earn money if they are not unemployed and uh, they have taken care properly so they become a good citizen 
and it will reduce the crime and homelessness. The second layer is the academically poor student management system. This will provide the information about all those students who, who lack proficiency in reading, writing or math and then we will have a management here that management will try to work to improve the proficiency of those students, those academically poor students. And there is a third uh, system on, on the uh, student management system that, that layer basically the parent management system that will provide the information about the parents uh, of the children or of the students uh, uh, who, who are basically the students who are K-12 or college students, whatever students, whatever system we have developed, we can divide into two K-12 and college. So the parent management system will provide all the parent information for the K-12 students and there we have to recognize those parents which are not taking part in growth of their student growth of their children they are not taking care or we can see what is problem so here we can have a system to counseling of those parents so that they will give time to their children and their children will not indulge into anti-social activity or they should not uh, become the part of dropouts so basically if we can take care this way develop system so finally what we can do is that we can be able to reduce the dropouts if even not basically not make it zero dropouts but we can minimize the number and that will control the crime and homelessness so here now the, the second path how to control dropouts this is the one path where we have to uh, give every student importance and make sure that every student become a good citizen and part of the workforce and here is another path where we have to uh, develop a curriculum morality based curriculum or morality science uh, that will basically bring patriotism in the students and we can develop a good citizen who will uh, think about other people, other citizen apart from their self uh, uh, respect and uh, are, are, uh, are, uh, we can say that only thinking about themselves they will think about the country also. We have to make a curriculum such a way that we can instigate or we can brainwash students to make them become a good citizen of the world and what we can have in the morality based education system we can have a curriculum of following 14 topics or we can have more topics also that topics may include evolution, evolution theory racial evolution religious evolution sectarian sectarian evolution radicalization general us history civilization constitution civics biography of great people how to become good citizen uh, how to control worriedness that we can have a, a mind control education system uh, or meditation system that we can include uh, in the curriculum and we can practically also make sure that student will learn how to control the mind so that they will not think about future not think about past but they think about present and they will be out of any kind of worry we can have a little bit about political science and little bit about psychology so that way we can have a curriculum of these topics and divide into two part one part can be general moral science and other part can be advanced moral science and class 6 to 8 we can teach them uh, general moral science and class 9 to 12 we can teach them advanced moral science so this way we can basically what we can do we can try to uh, create a good citizen uh, that will help us to make sure that we can have 
uh, students coming out of this education they will think about others they will think about country they, they can think about uh, <coughs> society and uh, they will become a part of uh, knowledgeable uh, system knowledgeable people who know how they have to behave if they are living in, in, in a, any kind of society or they living in the world and they will become a role model uh, for the people in other country who, who are suffering from the cri crime and homelessness and this path will basically will certainly help us to make sure that dropouts uh, they get job and uh, they are uh, involved in into building the country they will contribute their tax money to country and country will help uh, our infrastructure and we can get prosperous our country get prosperous and uh, our country also become role model for the world so basically i am going to conclude here that uh, why crime and homelessness are out of control so what we found that uh, because of dropouts are out of control so it is creating uh, crime and homelessness they, that is becoming out of control and we have to fix this problem we have to minimize the dropouts and second problem is high inflation and we have to make sure that this high high inflation or inflation is uh, since inflation is also out of control then it will create problem and makes it will make that crime and homelessness are out of control so we have to fix the high inflation too so basically we can say the dropouts are out of control and inflation are, are out of control and therefore the crime and homelessness are out of control and uh, if you see my video how to fix the high inflation solution for high inflation so just in briefly i can discuss here to fix the high inflation we have to control the gas and energy price and second thing is we have to maintain the supply and demand ratio so <clears throat> please let me know what do you think about this video you may please like share subscribe and you can comment uh, I am always waiting for your comment. I really want to improve my videos and improve my explanation and your comment will certainly help me to do that. Thank you.